Hey everybody, and welcome to another video. So, we're gonna make a public private what? Um, the idea is you got a server, at least I'm expecting you to now have a server running by watching my first tutorial. You either installed Oxide and have plugins installed, um, or have Oxide installed, whatever you wanna call it, um, or you kept it vanilla. But in my, in my tutorial kind of, I show you how to make a test server. It's not really meant to be a public server. Unless you do the third tutorial, which is port forwarding, then it's like a public server. But what if you want to have a testing server that also your friends can join, which is what most people probably want to do. But you don't want other people to be messing with your buildings, come on or whatever. Or you want a test server for your custom maps and the way it's set up right now if someone can join your game or can join your server they automatically get your map file so if you don't want them to get the map file yet or you're still testing stuff and you don't want them to see it or open it up in the editor because if they have the file they can open it up and edit it themselves or look at what you're building and how you build it so but you might want your friends to be able to join and the problem is you cannot really put a password on your server and as soon as you port forward as you can see here on my server it's called ted thomas um because then if people find a search for pomus they won't find it um if i go and search you can see here that i come up under the modded section because i currently have oxide installed um so and this is my custom map that i also will be releasing um it's basically just a flat map which is perfect for you to build on. As you can see, we built some stuff here. Um, and it's a 1K map, which is the smallest map there is. So it is really good for you if you don't have a really good computer. You have potato hardware. You can run this uh, server with this really tiny map. And the smaller the map and the less mountains and stuff happening. Well, mountains don't really matter, but red towns and stuff like that. Um, the more performance hog is going to be on your system so if you're going to be hosting and testing on the same computer um, and you don't have the best hardware running a small server like this with not a lot of happening on it like no scientists running around um, you can disable the animals so no animals um, it will be a lot better for you and your friends to play on so I will release the link and watch my other tutorial if you don't know how to use the custom map but I have a tutorial out on that I will also put that in the video description so what if you want a test server for you and your friends so you are showing up in the list but people cannot join there are two options either you have oxide installed so you can run plugins in that case it's pretty easy to do um, just use a plugin called whitelist you can see here and you're going to download that file then go to your rust folder go to oxide go to plugins and paste it in there so I'm going to do that now. I'll just download it to the correct folder. If I can remember where it is. Oxide, plugins, whitelist, save. Okay, so my server will say, My server will say load a plugin, whitelist, yep, because it's running, you don't have to restart your server. You can load and unload plugins on the fly. Some of them will uh, cause a little bit of lag on the server, but since this is a test server, that should not really um, matter. So I got whitelist now, and if I go to the config file, You can see here in the config file it says admin excluded on resort uh, reset on restart um, i don't want it to reset every time on restart so just put that on false and i do want to automatically um, allow admins to join so i don't have to give people permission i just make them admin and they can join the server which is also good because my friends want to be able to fly around and um, uh, spawning stuff to build etc so i'm gonna make them admin anyway so this is just drag in the plugin make sure this admin excluded thing in the config file is set to true and if you change that um, you might want to do oxide dot reload whitelist make sure you do the capital uh, W and it says unloaded reloaded and then it should reload that uh, config file that you changed if you have to change it I think it's like this on default um, and then if you're admin you can join so I can disconnect 
and I can reconnect because I am admin so I can join no problem uh, but if I disconnect and de-admin myself and try to reconnect since I'm not owner it says disconnected you are not whitelisted so I'm not able to join if I don't have admin so they cannot get my map file if that's what you're trying to protect and they also cannot join and mess with my building so I can just host this server when I'm offline just le let the server running I don't have to do any plugins or protection stuff because only my friends can join or the people you trust whatever and they can just hop on whenever and nobody else can so that's one but what if you don't have a uh, if you don't want to run plugins so you got a vanilla server you cannot use whitelist obviously there's another trick you can do basically it's the same kind of principle you're going to make your friends admin and we're going to set the maximum players to zero so nobody can join but admins can always join i'm going to remove the whitelist i'm not going to uninstall oxide you just have to believe me and you'll see what i'm doing um, that it's not relying on any plugins so if I go to my start file this is the link that I will be sharing and you can see my format might be a little bit different than yours but basically this is the link that you're going to put in to your uh, into your start script and remove all the procedurally generated or if you're already running a custom map just change my link to your link um, so here is the max players we're going to set that to zero we are going to save and i am still not admin so i'm going to restart the server i need to restart the server for this to kick in and of course it crashes just like the client it has to be in balance <laughs> so we're now going to start it you can see here max players zero and when this is started up i'll be back when i try to connect now You just get in queue so you cannot join unless i manually put you through the queue by doing global dot skip queue space and then your steam id so i can let you into the game without even uh, making you admin which is something you might like um, and if you're admin you can instantly join as i will show you so i'll make myself admin again by just doing owner id space then my ID, Steam ID, and then space, and then my name. And then if I try to reconnect, it goes negotiating, and then it just loads in instead of putting me into the queue. So that's basically how you make a private server on vanilla or private test server, basically. Um, a public, tri <laughs> public private test server. Um, vanilla or modded, use whitelist if you're modded use the zero players you can of course also use the zero players thingy max players um if you're on modded that also works but, but why not use the whitelist otherwise you got a little bit more control that way so thank you for watching i hope this is useful and have fun on your test servers with your friends if you don't know how to run a rust server in general look at my um a rust hosting tutorial playlist that i will also put in the video description there i'll tell you how to run a server how to work with plugins how to run events how to admin it how to make yourself admin etc etc so as always thank you for watching i'm out peace thank you very much for watching click on the left thumbnail for my most recent upload or click on the right for a video that suits you best as always have a very nice day i'm out peace Ha <laughs> <laughs>